Okay, so we are trying to do the problem of Janet's infamous driveway. And uh, it's been snowing. Snowing starts at midnight. From midnight to 9, it tells you how the snow is falling. It's falling at the rate of 7 TE to the cosine of T. When they say the word rate, you are thinking derivative. derivative. Very good. So this underlined in blue is a derivative. Um, it's falling at a rate of cubic feet per hour. If you integrate cubic feet per hour, you get cubic feet of snow. So um, let's kind of just go over this and see what we can do. Uh, T is measured an hour since midnight, so that's nice. It's not shifted. 1 a.m. is T equals 1. 6 a.m. is T equals 6. Janet starts shoveling the snow at T equals 6, so she's removing it, making it go down. And the rate that she removes the snow is given by this whole thing. This is, again, the rate. So this is another derivative. It's almost like they gave you y prime and g prime or something, f prime and g prime, right? That's what they kind of did give you. So the question is, how much snow has accumulated on the driveway by 6 a.m.? Think about that for a moment. So hopefully you can pause the video and take a second to think about this. We want to know how many cubic feet of snow have accumulated. What's making the snow accumulate? Well, it's accumulating by this function. So we need to integrate that function. We need to find the accumulation of snow from 0 to 6 of this function. I believe you have a calculator on this question. So calculators are allowed. So if you just go ahead and do that, you should come up with an answer. Can somebody tell me that answer? 142.27. OK. Can we get a second? Mm -hmm. One more. Stasia? Got the same thing? Cool. OK, so 142.27. Now it's asking to find the rate of change of the volume of the snow on the driveway at 8 AM. Give it some thought. Pause the video if needed. So the question is saying, find the rate of change of the volume of the snow. Well, here's the cool thing. They're asking for the rate of change of the snow, right? And they're telling us that this is a rate. So this is already good to go. It's a rate. And this is a rate. So this is already good to go. So we actually don't have to integrate or derive anything. We just need to know the rate at which the snow is coming in and then the rate at which the snow is coming out and subtract them. Well, the snow is coming in at a rate of f of t, and the snow is going out at a rate of g of t, so I'm going to subtract that. She's subtracting the snow off. So we really just need f at 8 a.m. That's how fast the snow is falling at 8 a.m. And we really just need g at 8 a.m. That's how fast she's shoveling at 8 a.m., okay? And we can kind of see what happens. For six hours, does she shovel any snow? No, she's sleeping, right? Then she wakes up, and how is she doing from 6 to 7, that first hour? She's shoveling a lot of snow or a little? A lot of snow. What happens after 7 a.m.? She gets a little tired, and she slows down, and she's, she's still shoveling at a pretty good clip, but she's not shoveling quite as much, okay? So she's shoveling everything at a constant rate, which is kind of straightforward. So let's figure out the rate of change of the volume of snow at 8 a.m. Just subtract f at 8, and then we know g at 8 is just 108. So it's f at 8 minus 108. Can anybody tell me what that was? All right, so that's going to come out to negative 59.583. And that is what's going on. Is she doing better? Is she, get it? is she making progress or is she losing to the, to the snowstorm at that point? Making progress or losing? She is... Well, actually, the volume of the snow is going down. So I would say she's winning because she's making the volume go down. So she's shoveling faster than it's coming in, which makes sense. I mean, it had to really be snowing insanely to not right, mm -hmm. beat the snow. So now we have h of t is the total amount of snow that Janet's removed from the driveway. And I want, they want you to tell, tell us what h is as a piecewise function. 
So what we need to do is we need to figure out, this is the rate at which she removes snow, right? I should probably record here. Oh, I am recording. <laughs> this is the rate at which she removes snow. Sorry about that, friends at home. Um, so we need to take what with the rate, and how are we going to get the amount of snow from the rate of snow? The amount of snow from the rate of snow. Integrate the rate of snow. So what we need to do is kind of, in a sense, we need to integrate g of t. Integrate g of t. And that might be a little bit weird. Um, that's whatever that is, is that's pretty much h of t, what they're talking about. And that's going to equal this piecewise function. So why don't we just integrate it piece by piece? Um, we don't know what this is going to be, the zero, right? Uh, it must have been a constant of some sort, right? So I'm going to leave that alone for right now. How do we integrate the 125? 125 x or 125 t, whatever you like. I prefer 125 t, and I prefer 108 t, and I'm going to put from 6 to 7, and I'm going to put from um, I'm going to put from 7 to 9. Oops. So let's just think about this for a moment. Sorry about that. A little ugly, but let's just think about this for a moment. Um, hmm. The total amount of snow she's removed from the driveway, she's sleeping for those first six hours. She's not removing any snow. So what do you think we should put on the top line? Zero? I think zero. I mean, it seems like any constant could have been that, but I say she removed no snow whatsoever for those few things. And that's just kind of me using a little bit of common sense here. Kind of strange to do that, but I'm just saying she didn't take any snow off the driveway for those six hours. She started removing snow after, after 6 a.m. They said that straight up. So that's really what they're looking for. Um, that's what they want. And now we lastly need to find out how much snow is on the driveway at 9 a.m. How much snow is on the driveway at 9 a.m.? Uh, so let's try to figure that out. I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to clear all of this. So luckily you have a video. You can just rewind back. Some of this might have been useful, but I'm just going to clear it and give some space. How much snow is on the driveway at 9 a.m.? So how do we come up with that equation? How is the snow coming in? How do we figure that out? So in the beginning, there was no snow, right? There's no snow on Janet's driveway. So it's zero plus whatever comes in. How do we find out the snow coming in? F of t. F of t, but not quite. That's the rate of it. So how do we find the amount of it? Integral, Integral of f of t, yes. Now, sometimes what they're going to do is they're going to um, just show you like something like this. And they're going to say, I don't know when it stops. You know what I mean? We're going to integrate it from 0 till whenever. So this is meaning whenever. In this problem, you don't really need that, because they did give you a number, 9 AM. So we'll put a 9 there. But sometimes they just want you to put a, an x there, a different variable than this, by the way. Because they're saying, we don't know when we're going to stop. We want a function. So they might have said, give us a function that tells us how much snow there is. And in that case, you need to put x there. Do you get what I'm saying? And then you can plug in for whatever x they give you. In this case, it's 9, so we don't really need to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a 9 here, because I know that's what happened. It's x till 9. Okay. Um, that's the first part. And now, what did Janet do while the snow was coming down, or after it started coming down? She took snow off, right? So how much snow did she shovel off from 6 to 7 o'clock? Yeah, 125 on the dot, right? We could integrate it if we wanted, but the width is 6 to 7 is 1. She took off 125. That's what she did from 6 to 7. Now, how much snow did she take off from 7 to 9? 108, but she did it for how many hours? 
Two, two hours. 108 for two hours is how much? 54. Wait, no, that's, that would be the rate cut in half. She's taking up 108 every single hour. That's the rate. So 216. So 216 cubic feet of snow. So can somebody tell me what that integral comes out to? Minus, whatever that comes out to, minus 3, oh, I think that's 341, make sure. What did that question come out to? Um, 0 to 9, the integral? Uh, 367.33. Okay. So let's make sure my math is right. We have 0 plus, the integral is 367.33. Can I get a... And then minus 341, I think I have that right. And that shows how much snow is on her driveway when she stops shoveling. So that's going to be, let's see, 26.33. So what do you think that's about? Why is there 26.33 of snow on her driveway? That's probably just the amount she left. She didn't shovel all the way down, right? She left the half an inch. Or she didn't get the edges all the way to the edge, right? or she just left the spot where the car was or whatever. There's some snow, but she shoveled the vast majority of it off. There's a little bit of snow on her driveway. We're not going to get it down to zero, right? Never going to happen. And that is an accumulation question with a piecewise given to you, not as a graph, but as a actual function with the bracket. So that's kind of a piecewise and accumulation, and this is going to segue us into, a, into piecewise functions. So I hope that video was helpful. Um, and uh, we're going to end it there, just kind of cut it. So I've kept it under 12 minutes. That's exciting. Uh, Passeri out.